This video shows a, a non-modeler or inexperienced modeler how to do scenery. It's done by making a small diorama which is about 8 inches by 5 inches and is shown on the black card. They learn the basic skills and make decisions on where they want to put things. This is just a typical section out of a bit of Australian bush. The diorama is normally made on spread out newspaper as you can see just under the edge but there's too much color and brightness for the video so we're just going to do it on a white card for now. We have a cheat sheet for the person doing the teaching. This gives the order and the steps in which to make the module and it's done for all the people who actually do the clinic clinic presentation so that everyone does it the same and people can take over from others in an ongoing basis so people are not sat there all day they can do a couple of an hour and then rotate. The other materials required Our boxes of the ready materials. This one is Woodland Scenics ground foam, uh, burnt grass in this particular box. The other one is coarse foam, slightly chunky foam. A um, bit of loose dirt from the garden with bits and pieces of um, tree, stone, all bits and pieces that are normally found hanging around the bush. Off cuts from making trees and other bits and pieces from dead limbs that have fallen down out of the trees. This one we have short pieces cut to represent cut down trees. These will be used in the demonstration. And these are meat skewers which have been shortened and some of them sharpened to make the uprights for the shed. The shed roof is a piece of thick card and we printed corrugated iron on it. There's a large A4 sheet which is cut down and it's been marked out so we can do it any time. And then there are spare sheets to lay on the ground for something that's been thrown down. The other important tool is a jig for the uprights on the shed uh, so that the person can put the shed where they want it they have a template to put the uprights. The other tool we use is for just making the hole to put the tree trunks in which is this one and the final setting liquid is uh, wood glue 50% wood glue, 50% water. In Australia it's called Aquadia. Our wetting agent in a squirty bottle is water with a few drops of washing up liquid. Uh, you can tell it's got liquid, it goes frothy when you shake it. Uh, this helps the glue disperse. To put the glue on we use plastic pipettes and we pick it up and we put it on like an industrial eyedropper. The other components are a made up shaker and a tube of, in this case, uh, Shelley's liquid nails, which is a high strength construction adhesive, goes off pretty quickly. This is a plastic cup, the top has been replaced with a tea strainer taped in place and uses local dirt just brushed up on a dry day. Before the clinic we prepare the base urethane foam. Urethane foam is cut to size and it is then cut through the middle to make two wedges and painted with some 
do it colored paint, any cheap paint from anywhere. And that's the base supplied to the trainee. And of course, one brush to put the glue on. Trees are also made beforehand. These are Australian type trees. The lighter colours on it represent the, the flowering in the gum trees and are quite common at this time of year, which is mid-November. We're going to introduce this modeler to doing a piece of scenery. There's your board and what you have to do first is put glue on there to take the material. Is that what we're doing? That's it. You're going to make one of those. Mm. Very nice. Okay, first things there. There's your white glue. Just paint that on. And uh, what consistency is that? It's 50% water, 50% aqua deer which is an Australian wood glue, white wood glue. Paint the whole board? Paint the whole board. Just get a nice covering. Put plenty on, it's, it'll get absorbed. How's that? That's it, that'll do you. Next step, and there's a shaker full of dirt. You shake it on as though you're putting um, cheese on a pizza. Uh, or flour on a... Flour on, on a, a baking board. Baking board. <laughs> plenty of salt on your chips. <laughs> Cover it, make sure there's plenty of earth covered. It doesn't have to be even, just as long as it's all covered. Down the bottom, down the bottom end a bit. Across that top. That's it. Oh, the next thing now, we're going to be putting a shed on here. Do you want to turn it on? Going to put a shed on here, and that's the template for the shed, so you get an idea of how much space you put that where you want to put it. Mm -hmm. Normally at the thick end of the wedge, so it has a little bit more surface. Yeah. You're going to put it in like. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so you now you know how much area you're going to cover. That's it. First of all, you sprinkle on your fine grass, three pinches of the grass, three liberal pinches. This particular colour is burnt grass, typical of an Australian summer grass. If you're in cooler places, you can use a darker green. Yes. Then you want three, three or four pinches of three. Three of this. I think I took more. Okay. Now Oops. you. Now three pinches of the loose, groundy stuff, which is all the bits and pieces of decayed trees that have fallen down. And stones that have been uncovered by the weather and baked in place. And then a few bits of dead tree and branches that have fallen down. Oops. Okay. Oops. The next bit you can put three tree trunks in. Where do you want your tree trunks? Um, one in there. One there. Is the hole for me or screw your tree into the hole? Screw it in. Yeah, just give it a twist in. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Next one. Um, in there. Get the 
God, so... Oops. Okay, now use the template. Put the template where you want it. And we give you four uprights. You push them in through the holes. Make sure they're even. They've been sharpened to make it easier. And they're all upright, all the same height. Think so. You can take the jig off now. With water. Spray it with wet water. It's water with a little bit of washing up liquid. I do this away from the camera, but make everything nice and wet. Okay. And what you have to do now is fill up the uh, industrial eyedropper and put the Cover the whole board. Cover all the bits that you've added to the board. See. Grass, grass, the bits, twigs, the stones. And what does this do? When it dries, it will glue everything to the board. It will be clear. So it's not going to show, it will dry perfectly clear and it will hold everything onto the board. So you don't need any other glue? No, that's it. And it will hold the rocks down too? Yes, it will hold rocks down. How's that, have I covered it all? A little bit there. But there, that should be it. Okay, the next thing is we add the roof. And there's your roof. And I shall put a bit of glue on the top for you. This is an industrial type glue. Will dry reasonably quickly and will be quite firm when it's finished. Put that on now? Yep, yeah, put it on. And touch the four corners just to make sure it sits on the corners. Oops. And there's a couple of blank pieces you can just put on the ground. You can put a bit of glue on the back of them if you no, like. No, the white glue should hold them, I think. Okay, if you're happy with that. Can I have another one? You may. Now, 
the tree. If you like to select a tree, whichever tree you like. Okay, you take that one, and before you can put it in the hole. Is it a toothpick there? No. Make a hole where you want it. It's too big. Can you? Plant your tree. Any more? That's it. Ah. No, you're all finished. When that dries, it will look something like this. You can add a little bit more to it at a later date if you wish, but that's your basic scenery and you can apply that to the whole of the layout. I'm very pleased with that. Yes, it looks very good.